This is the official podcast for the Adelaide Football Club. <laughs> what is that? That's a bit of Backstreet Boys for Danger's back. Oh, I'm back. He's back. It's great to be back. Oh, Jock. I missed it. What are we supposed to get that a second? Not back, not back, not back. Not back. Mike, come in late. The Twitter account ruled you out and then ruled oh. you back in without even the team being named. It's been unbelievable. Dave Burdenshaw has a lot oh, to answer for. A lot to answer for. I can't Her, believe he it. He's in team selection, apparently. Oh, he sits absolutely. He sits, he sits, he sits, he sits, he sits next to Bale. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Goes, what do you think about this, Dean? Yeah, I just leave it away from you, Dave. <laughs> well, anyway, he's back. He's back. He's back. 32, and he might just collect another showdown medal. Oh, <laughs> now we are kidding ourselves. Oh, spot on, John. Please. <laughs> you're spot on. You are on the money. won't touch it. <laughs> Lynchy, what are your thoughts? Big showdown number 35 approaching. How are you feeling? Well, it's big showdown number one for the Chief. Oh, the Chief. I haven't played in a showdown, oh, so. Him on no, I haven't. You'll so, probably kick six. No, well, I won't, but it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, looking forward to it. Can't yeah. wait. So I've uh, biggest I've grown the, uh, the I've grown the hate for Port Adelaide over the last eighteen months as yeah. as Pat told me I would have when I first got here. So um, and you don't believe it at the start? No, nah, I don't believe it at the start. No, because uh, live in my bubble down in Melbourne, but <laughs> over here now that you uh, you get right involved in the in the week. Yeah, you do. So Lynchy's back. Well, he's in for the first one. Danger's back. Someone who won't be there. The Vizsla snapped, oh, snapped the hind leg. The hind leg's done. Oh no. In actual fact, Chief, now this, I was obviously over there on the weekend, uh, Jock and Cat, and I thought, I thought Josh actually had his leg snapped off. Oh. <laughs> I thought it came off, Chief. Now, you can probably comment on this because you're on the ground at the oh, time. No. They reckon he could have walked off. Oh, boy. <laughs> they reckon he could have walked off. He has called the stretcher before they've even diagnosed him. <laughs> he was... Screaming at the top of his lungs. It was louder than Whitney Houston. You could hear him from the coach's box? Oh, absolutely. You could, you, oh, I could, the you doctor flies are calling him Whitney. <laughs> you could hear him from South Australia. <laughs> um, but you know, obviously, I'm not a doctor, Chief. And uh, But there, there are different sorts of fractures. You know, there's your clean breaks, your hairlines. Josh's is apparently 10 times better than a hairline fracture. So you, ha- you have to actually have a microscope to see where the crack is. It's very, very difficult to see. They reckon he could have kept playing. Well, they reckon they could play at the season. Oh. He said, no, send me in for surgery. I need the surgery. Oh, no. So the vis is out, Chief. And hasn't he milked it? Oh. <laughs> hasn't he milked it? I've spent... No, I've got a, I've got a child, Pat, and I've spent most of my time... <laughs> I spent well, most of my time looking after Josh. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just back up. You have a child, and you spend most of your time with me, and if it's not with me, it's with Josh, and then you go see when I don't, When I don't look after Kobe, obviously. Then you go but, see Junior. But over the last week, he has been <laughs> deplorable. Well, so we, we went in for Lunch, food, drinks. <laughs> it is never-ending. Chocolate. How much chocolate oh. have you consumed? <laughs> He's gone the skinnies. I've got no more tests for the rest well, of the year. For, for everyone that didn't know, Josh went... To hospital on on Tuesday, I think it was Chief, and uh, he was in at about 7:30 in the morning, and he had surgery at uh, at 11:30, and it was finished at 11:31 because they didn't need to do it. Um, but anyway, so the, a few of the boys went in, Jock and and yeah. Kat, and went to say good day. So everyone brings in something, you know. Tex comes in, brings plenty of lollies. D Mac comes in, and he literally, I was there at the time. He brings in Woman's Day oh, no. and a packet of chips. No, D-Mac. I came in, and and when I was in, I was in at about five thirty. So I brought him KFC. Why were you late, Pat? Uh, Couple, Tell the truth. Couple of business, the truth. Couple of business deals, Chief. The phone call went like this. <laughs> no, I got the business Josh, deal. Josh, I can't come in, I don't think. Why, Pat? Why wouldn't you come and see your one of your best mates? Well, I don't know if the missus will let me. Oh, no. Hey, Chief, let's just back up. <laughs> Hang on. That's not exactly <laughs> I accurate. I don't know if the missus will let me. Chief, then, that's not exactly did accurate. Did you bring your missus along? I did. But oh. that, that's, that's not exactly accurate. <laughs> when have I referred to Josh as one of my best mates? <laughs> You're spot on. Anyway, so I bought uh, bought him some KFC. The big fella loves a bit of KFC. And everyone bucket, had a bucket of chicken, chicken, a couple of large chips, oh, and I tell you what, it was gone in the click of click of your fingers. <laughs> it was gone faster than the surgery. Um, but there was one person that did not bring a thing. 
The Chief has not oh, brought no. a thing. No, you, reckon he, you reckon you're his best mate I'll and you haven't him. brought him a thing? A pack of Krispy Kremes. Hang on, hang on. I sat by him after the event. All you did was eat. Till about four in the morning. You ate his chocolate. I you got, ate all his food. I and bought his him life. pizzas. I bought him lunches oh. the last week. It's been never ending. Where's Hannah? I don't know. How does his missus job? Yeah. We don't know where he is. Anyway, the Vistler, he's, he reckons you'll be in hospital for four weeks. Um, <laughs> the docs have tried to send him home as soon as he walked in the doors. <laughs> but yep. anyway, you right. Something caught my eye on the boundary. Yeah, let's move uh, on. Patterson <laughs> Stadium. There's a couple of Freo supporters just wanted a bit of, bit of selfie time with you and a couple yeah, of autographs. Freo. You know, just taking um, your. Uh, your profile what over you the doing west. over there? I've gone national. What, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> what were you doing over there? Were you promoting the podcast? Um, bit in the coach's bit of, uh, Was it the podcast tour? Just lending it. <laughs> podcast. No, a bit of... Um, um, just extending the brand. Egg. <laughs> no, I was there for a reason. We're six minutes in and we've got nowhere, so let's, let's move on. No, I was, I was we've, lost about we've lost about 100 listeners by now. I was there to promote the club. Okay. Actually, I was there for a function that was after the game. Was and uh, Jock was there. And just as we're walking out, some oh. blokes trying to kill the, kill the two bouncers. <laughs> <laughs> he nearly wiped me out for yeah, the rest of the season. The was nearly done. Anyway, moving on. What have we got, Jock? What's on today's podcast? Some big news this week. Oh, I love big news. <laughs> Potentially, reserves team. Maybe the proposal's gone to get into the SNFL. But if we go there, can't be the Crows. Can't wear our jumper. Don't so know that yet, though, Kat. If, if. We don't know that yet. We still want to be called the Crows. If, but Do we, though, Chief? No, we do. Do we? We do. We do. I'm not sure we do. Surely we've got some ideas. Well. I do have a few ideas, Cheaty. The Chiefs? The Chiefs. <laughs> <laughs> the Adelaide Chiefs? <laughs> And what would be even better if it was Lynchy's face on the jumper? Oh. It has nothing to do. Yes. Has nothing to do with the crows. It's just I'm, Lynchy's smiling face. I'm all for it. We'll get a photo of it. We'll put it up when we put the podcast up. Lynchy's face on a jumper. It would be unbelievable. Oh, you'd certainly get a good member boast. They'd be coming through the guts. And there'd be no issues with sponsors <laughs> because they wouldn't want to associate themselves with him. <laughs> But that, that's exciting news, John. Yeah. All right, time for some Twitter questions. Moving right along. B Hall. If the boys could have an ultimate boys' day out, what would it consist of? Oh, we have it every day. That's a fact. <laughs> going, for co- going for coffee at House Bakery. Uh, <laughs> Anything else, Jim? Well, this is, that's maybe your ultimate day. <laughs> <laughs> Got to keep it PG, I suppose. But <laughs> oh, <laughs> God, My ultimate day consists of a lot of other things. Catherine Mayday, eh? you've written another. I can't go on through it. <laughs> Next question. Righto. Danger. You've what were you thinking as soon as you injured yourself? Can't say what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was thinking, ah, oh, shit. That hurt. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought, that doesn't feel right. What were you thinking when Nick's Maxwell, <laughs> Nick Maxwell tried to bump you? Well, well, to be honest, what I first thought was uh, when Scarlo's book coming out. <laughs> <laughs> well, part of when Scarlo gets a couple of what? <laughs> well, part of when Scarlo's book coming out, I was thinking, uh, I didn't know you're allowed to bring Krypton on onto the field, job. <laughs> <laughs> and they brought it on, oh, no. and they've just whacked me without anyone watching. Can't yeah, believe yeah. it. Let's call boys. We'll try that this week, though. Won't they? Surely, at least you just get around them and just put Lynch up a little bit of shield for them. Incorrect. It. I'll be <laughs> looking at little Joe the goose over the top of the golf square while they get up. Three, on, what three clips being given? Speaking a bit of Biff, what what happened to the start no, of the game? Sorry, before we oh, just right go, right there. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that was tough by Maxwell. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, real tough. What were you going to say, Jock? Tough guy. I was going to say, start of the Fremantle game. Ah, uh, look, can't the skipper go was under a bit of oh, yeah. the skip. Duress. Tell you what, the skip got absolutely bashed from pillar to post on the weekend, Jock. Well, what Speaking about Daniel guys, Pierce? Though, he yeah, couldn't blow out a candle. Oh. Well, <laughs> what about what about spot on there, Jock? <laughs> Let's just go through. Tomo, great man, yeah. comes in, yeah. fights for his mate. Oh, no. Bernie what fights for his mate. Like they're getting in there. Like Tomo's got, he's holding up four blokes with each hand. <laughs> he's got eight blokes. He's got half the team. I think I know head. where you're going with this. And there's one bloke that is nowhere near this congestion, Jock. Nowhere near the fight. Nowhere near helping out his mate and his teammate in VB. The go? chief is sitting in the goal square! We, well, hang on. We had the kick. He was waiting. I knew for a fact that. How, many, how much did the fine did they get? 
1,200. I don't want to bring the game into disrepute. <laughs> the AFL have clearly said no melee. So I thought, well, I'm with a bigger man here. I'll get away from it. Uh, he's cop 1,200. 1,200 and I've cop zero. I think I think VB should pay for that. So do I. He's a tighter. So he pay for it. <laughs> All right. Ryan Daly wants to know, Lynchy, yep. who were your football idols growing up? And if you could play any other sport, what would it be? I can answer this one, John. Okay. <laughs> Modra. <laughs> Ablett. <laughs> Lockett. What do they have in common? All kick 10 goals in a game. JV. That is just rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> My favourite player when I was about 15 was actually Richard Douglas. Oh. Now you think oh. of, you think there is a bit of mayo on that, but there is not. Hey, can you just get your hand off it, please? <laughs> oh, oh, I used to love Dougie when I was uh, 15, 16. Um, so how old was Dougie? What, 19? 18, 19. Jeez. He's my favourite player. But, uh, this is the first time I've heard this. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> well, you don't really want to disclose that, do you? It's quite embarrassing. Okay, and what's the other sport you um, play? A bit of it going on in England at the moment. So I'd love to play... Um, NFL. Okay. He's trying to he's trying to take it off the cricket front, yeah. Jock. He Hang on. Hello. Hang on. What would I like to play? NFL. Jimmy. Think about playing NFL. The Catherine Monet. Wide receiver it's or not about oh. it's not like quarterback about Catherine hunter. It's not about Cam Moon. Special all the time, teams. Right? Special teams. Special teams. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be one of those quarterbacks on the football. <laughs> Keep going, mate. Keep going. Uh, all right, Danger. What's the largest fish you've caught, species and size, please? Uh, seaweed. Well, <laughs> seaweed. Depends if it's, are we talking fish or sharks. Largest shark I've caught. Oh, I've caught a nine, nine foot mako. Yeah. Oh, that is. And the biggest, the biggest. <laughs> Chief, can you please be quiet? And the biggest fish was a thirty-five kilo kingfish. Wow. Oh, oh. Yeah. Impressive. When were these caught, Pat? <laughs> Last night. I you woke up at about 7 o'clock this morning. Have you just lied? <laughs> no, no, that's a fact. Lord Howe Island for the uh, Kingfish Check. A great spot to visit if you're ever going to go away and take a little junior. You won't be taking Courtney, but we might take a little chief over there. Chiefy. Uh, and out, of, out in front of Mogs for the Mako. Mm. Very good. It's moving a lot right along. Now, Dane, you've had a bit of time, unfortunately, over the last couple of weeks. How plenty of time, Kat. How many time. movies have you crammed in? A lot. <laughs> a lot. Got some reviews for us. Yeah, I did watch a movie the other day. I watched Wolverine. Oh. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Chief, what were your thoughts on Wolverine? Because you were there. Gee, Hugh Jackman's in good nick. Oh, <laughs> he, oh. <laughs> what a hero he is. And people think Scott Thompson's in good nick. <laughs> the 44 year old Hugh Jackman, and he's got claws that come out of his hands. <laughs> Hated the ending, though. Oh, shocking. It. Oh, shocking. It. But anyway, Hugh, Hugh Jackman. We actually went as a team. <laughs> It's delicious. <laughs> hey, we did go to the Yeah, Reading Cinemas, put it on, put the show on for us. But, uh, no, I thought it was all right. Yeah. How many stars? I'll give it three and a half, Chief. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty generous. Three, then. Three out of five. Hugh, Hugh, mate. Like, oh, Hugh. Huey! He got Thank the God three. Hugh was there. <laughs> he, he got, got the, the three. three. Yeah, <laughs> apart from Huey, um, a little bit too much Iron Man action for me. The Iron Man suit was a bit much, Chief, but, you know, I thought it was pretty good. What about a couple of the boys can't get to sleep now after seeing Conjuring. The Conjuring, I think? I've seen this. Didn't Tr- Petrenko and McKernan. Well, I didn't sleep after mm. I watched the trailer to it. <laughs> it's horrendous, Chief. I didn't sleep after I watched Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think probably watched me time going You're a wizard, Gaddy. <laughs> uh, now, Next question. what happened last <laughs> night? Kawaj has missed the ball by a country oh, mile. Run us through it, Chiefy. And this is where we get to Lynch's Lash. Yeah. No. I've actually got a different Lynch's Lash, which I've forgotten about. <laughs> But I'll remember it. I think you need to include the DRS check. No, you can, you can go ahead with the Ash segment. Well, I cannot believe it, Jock. Wow. With the technology that we have now. Okay, we've reviewed this decision. Howler by the umpire. Oh, wait, we, you know, yep, bad, poor. Okay, that's why we have technology, Chief, to go back through it and rectify the original decision. But there's a bloke at the top that just, uh, you know what, let's take the piss of them. Let's, let's just, yeah. <laughs> Was there actually anyone up there? I couldn't believe it. It was the worst decision I've seen in cricket ever. <sighs> and I can't believe it. It was a disgrace. It's almost as bad. Let's make some runs, though, Chief. We made some runs. No, Chief. It's not, don't worry about making we runs. We made runs. This is as bad a decision as when the umpires didn't give me three votes against Sydney last year. <laughs> when I've had 32 and kicked two. And Bloody's got the three! <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Jimmy. Come on! 
Jimmy's got the stress fractures, Lynchy. You've been yeah. on the on the dog and bone to him. Well, I don't really want to talk about it. It's really hit home. It has really hit home. This che- Cheeky's had to uh, <laughs> he's had to feed a couple of people outside of the footy club this week just to. Um, you've needed a bit of help, haven't you, Chief? Oh, it's been devastating. <laughs> He'll be home soon, though. Are you going to be there with, with He's the coming airport up with roses and just welcome him back? Because it's just... Come on, Jay, that's a bit immature, but it's... Uh, yes. It's certainly... <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I will. Oh, Lynchy, who's your lash this week? I mate? can't... I've forgotten it. What? No, I had it here, no, but Pat is just fucking garbage for the last 15 minutes. But you had a lash you told me. Yeah, the couple. I was gonna like my first lash was gonna be about the hot tub at the club at the minute. Oh. oh. Now we have this hot tub which I spend majority of my time in. Photo will be up online. You do. <laughs> and, and, and we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. One of the most important parts of the club. Is there any higher standard than the AFL chief in terms of football? There's not. There's not. Chief. So so it's the highest. Elite. It's the Clubs people. that are involved in it are the elite of the elite. Correct. The, they're the best of the best of the best, sir. So and you think we'd have a work in a life park, okay? But no, we don't. I can't. And okay. it's been like this for about three weeks. Hang on, the ice bath's not working or the, the, the hot, hot part of it's not working? The hot tub time machine. And we found out why it's not working. And no one spends time in the ice bath. <laughs> <laughs> it's the hot tub which is the crucial. That's the only thing that people are worried oh. about. But we found out why it's not working. It's apparently... If players aren't sharing well enough... Sam Siggins, not to mention any names. He never, ever showers. Um, but it's the... If they have massage and we... Oh, the oils. Like the oils that we have, basically Vinny goes and gets them from Coles and we're getting... <laughs> it's seriously, it's oh. cooking oil. You can put it... It's disgusting. He seriously needs to, he needs to be shot, Vinny. But that's, that's, that's another... That's it's a lack for another issue. time. But it's, it's the oils, isn't it, Chief? Oh. So it's the fat content. So we had our skinnies done this week and... We've actually really found out why well, a couple of players that can't use the the hot bath simply because of their fat content. <laughs> Big sauce jackets. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's another one that just all of a sudden just rocketed into contention. Death. They call him Death. <laughs> Timothy McIntyre. Oh. Has just been oh, indulging. Uh, indulging. <laughs> Who ate all the pies? Well, we know who's eating all the pies. <laughs> and they won't let him into the spa from now on because of his fat content. Couldn't believe it, Chief. Oh. Couldn't believe it. So it's still out of action. And they've made a, got a portable little spa, oh. which, is, which fits two people in it <laughs> with bent legs. Barely fits my ego in it. Oh. <laughs> it's can't oh. believe it. So we've, uh, that's probably why we uh, lost last week. It is. It's... You know what? It's the reason we haven't... How many games have we played this year, John? Uh, 18 goal. It's the, we need the hot tub back. Well, it's so whoever is in charge, we employ some people to run that hot tub. Chief, it's the reason we haven't won 18 in a row. <laughs> it's the hot bar. I've figured it out. Look, what's your lash, Lynchy? That's it. No, oh, it's not. Hang on, I've just lashed That's the... That's the worst lash I've ever heard. That was Danger's lash. No, that was my lash. I just did the hot tub. That's the worst lash I've ever heard. Oh, well, you got one for me? Yeah. Okay, here we go. You, you're oh, going to blush about the break. 33, yeah? three goals. And I didn't get the three against Essendon! Come on, Job! <laughs> we need to wrap this up. Spiraled out of control. <laughs> so we'll smash him in the show now. Oh, good luck on the weekend. Smash him. Thanks for listening to the official podcast of the Adelaide Football Club.